Hello levelers, in this video we're going to be looking at types of conformity for your A-level psychology. To go with this, once you've finished making your notes, to check that you understood everything, over on the website there's a free set of questions and a free set of flashcards to make sure you've properly understood everything. Types of conformity. The three types of conformity that you need to know are internalisation, identification and complaints. We'll now look at each of these in turn, looking at their definitions and providing the examples. Internalisation. This is the deepest level of conformity. Here, an individual adopts the behaviour, values or beliefs of a group, not just because they feel compelled to, but because they genuinely agree with them. The person internalises these norms and they become part of their own value system, persisting even when the individual is no longer in the group. The influence is both public and private. This can be seen, for example, in religious conversion, where a person may fully adopt and internalise a new set of beliefs. Identification. This is a moderate level of conformity where individuals adapt their behaviour, values or beliefs to those of a group because they identify with that group and want to be part of it. The motivation here is the desire to fit in or be accepted. However, unlike internalisation, the conformity is usually only apparent while the individual is in the presence of the group or desires to be part of it. Once outside the group's influence, the individual may revert to their previous behaviours, values or beliefs. For example, you may follow the dress code at your workplace because you identify with your job and want to fit in, but dress differently outside of work. Compliance. This is the shallowest level of conformity. Here, individuals go along with the group's norms or expectations publicly but in private, they maintain their own beliefs or behaviours. This is often due to the desire to avoid discomfort or negative consequences, such as ridicule, criticism, rejection or punishment. The conformity stops as soon as the group pressure is relieved. An example would be laughing at a joke you don't find funny because everyone else is laughing. So to recap, the three types of conformity that you need to know are internalisation, identification and compliance. These different types of conformity can be seen in different social situations and can influence how people act and think in a group context. Ouch! This is why in some videos I explain scratches.